Oh, oh. Mm. hey yo, uh, nigga, is that a a furry and a Gundam? What the fuck is that? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, so you yeah. telling me, Zanos? You telling me that you, the Guilty Gear Strive content creator, is doing something non-Guilty Gear related? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. Look, I love Strive. Hella passion. I put like 300 plus hours in this game and I'm still booty cheeks. But that's not the point. The goal in mind is I am burned out. I'm on something. I'm sorry. I've been playing this game for too much. And honestly, I want to try something different. I want to play another game for the time being. I just want a little small break, you know, to ease my mind. And Luckily enough, I went through my list of games that I haven't beat, and I found Ratchet and Clank. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, Ratchet and Clank. Well, I'll say it like this. This shit better be good, and I get that. But let me do something that you guys may like. I want to experiment. Just, just hear me out. And I want those Milia guys later. Okay. Ration and Clank 2016. What can I say? Uh, I have very little experience playing this series. The last one that I played was Up Your Arsenal on the PSP when I was much younger. And I didn't even beat the game, and I think ever since then I never played a Ratchet & Clank game. I always heard about this game growing up, but really during high school, and I even see my pops talk about this game. Like, you know, it's a fun little series. Even some friends, and I just never had a chance to try it out. Even when it was free, you know, I was still not really too interested. I was too busy playing fighting games. But when I finally took the time to play this game from beginning to end on uh, hard mode, oh, goodness gracious, it was a thrill. The gameplay is what carried this game for me. I didn't too much really care for the story. I mean, it was cool. It was straight. Uh, the characters were fine. Um... I did not fuck with Captain Quark, uh, Quark or whatever his name is. Uh, God, I hate him with a passion. I mean, he was entertaining. Do not get me wrong. He was, he's very entertaining, but oh my God, his ego is like through the roof. <laughs> I can't stand him. And I think Ratchet was pretty cool. Uh, I do remember in the older games, he was a lot uh, more of an asshole. Ratchet, that's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. But I, I guess with this reboot, they made him a lot nicer and, you know, sweet for the kids. But, I mean, despite that, I mean, I still have fun with the game. The game clearly still has some charm with its gameplay, its visuals. Everything looks nice and clean. And... Oh man, it's just, I just had a fun ride beginning to end. One thing I will say that I absolutely love about this game, I love how this game promotes you to explore. Even when you beat uh, certain objectives, like the main objectives for the game, they have these little side objectives you can do. That way you can unlock certain accessories that'll make your gameplay or really, I guess your playthrough a lot easier. And I dig that. That's one thing I always liked about certain video games where if you explore, even with like RPGs and certain shooters or, you know, just different game genres and it, it's really satisfying to say the least. And man, this the upgrade system with the weapons. So in this game, the more you use a set of weapon, it will level up and it will increase the efficiency of it. So for example, the main weapon that you use that is the Magma Buster. It will start off, you know, just shooting one little bullet each round. And as you upgrade it, you will start getting more abilities to either increase the ammo, the fire rate. And at one point, once you get it to the max level, it can, it's able to fire three bullets. And this goes for every weapon, not just this. And mind you, there is a car collection system throughout the game that you can use to further push the stats 
of your said weapon and abilities and oh my gosh it is so satisfying it gives you more motivation to you know grind enemies and use bolts and find these crystals in order to upgrade these weapons it's a very phenomenal system and i love every minute of it oh my gosh when i play this game i'm never tired i'm never bored i always wanted to try certain weapon loadouts for example if i have a situation to where i'm fighting multiple smaller enemies or bigger enemies at once the first thing i will throw out is the proto class which is pretty much a aoe grenade that produces a shock wave around the entire area uh sometimes it'll start out small but depends how many upgrades you put on it it will expand greatly and hell sometimes it will shoot a laser to uh take down enemies that are in the air and i love that so much and then not only that sometimes i will bring out uh zircon jr and i upgraded him to the point where i can have two of them at once so they'll just like I don't even have to do all the work. I can really just do that and have them shoot at the opponent while using the pixelizer for close range attacks. And man, when you just find your loadout that works for you, it is super beneficial. You can just take down enemies in an instant at times. I also enjoyed the hoverboard races throughout uh, the game as well. And I also enjoyed the more slow pace and uh, puzzle sections with Clank. I thought that was also neat as well. And I mean, outside of that, I mean, that's all I really have to say with the game. I, I enjoy it 100%. Um, I didn't too much really care for the story like that. I mean, I guess it was okay. It, it's not nothing bad. It's just, you know, it's average. You know, it's not nothing I really would say, oh man, this is absolutely spectacular. I can say that towards the game, like not much for the story. I do appreciate a lot of the characters and some of the comedic charm that this game was going for. And despite not ever playing the original game, I enjoyed the hell out of this reboot. And I am definitely looking forward to playing any future installment of this series. And I'm definitely going to try out Rift Apart when I get the chance. And if I were to rate this game, Honestly, give it an 8 out of 10. I enjoy the hell out of this game. And I would definitely recommend this game to anyone who is remotely interested in this series or have a PlayStation. And I am going to go straight to playing Rift Apart. If this game was this good, and hey, people out here like hyping up Rift Apart, oh my goodness. I can only imagine my excitement. I feel like I'll explode.